Uh, here we have another Matthijs, Matthijs Oosterhout. Um, and he's, uh, he studies audiovisual design at the Willem de Koning Academy. And in turn, that V2 working on the project that uh, he'll demonstrate in a second called SPASM 2.0. Uh, on the other side of me is Boris de Bakre, uh, currently lab manager of, uh, of V2. But before uh, he took that position, he uh, started at V2 as an artist in residence. And he actually conceived the idea behind SPASM. So I called both of them uh, up here. But I think Matthijs will first show us what we're looking at. Uh, well, this is the map, and basically what SPASM is, is a spatial audio mixer for live performance. And here we have a map, and this map represents the space that you see over there, where people are standing now currently. And basically what you can do is place sounds virtually in those space. And one visitor, one listener can walk through this space with a headphone on, and it's being tracked by a laser scanner and an inertia cube, and then can move through this virtual audio space as if it were a real space with real sounds. Okay, uh, maybe you should also explain uh, what this laser scanner is and the inertia cube yeah. and how Th that that's works. That's a good idea. A <laughs> uh, laser scanner is, is actually um, quite ingenious. It's, it's a laser, yeah, and it, turn and it spins around. And what it does, it measures the, the time it takes for the laser to get back. And by knowing how, how much time it takes, it knows the distance it between the object and the laser. And therefore, it can see the distance of each object in the space that is scanning at the same time. And that's, that's what we use, oh, uh, sorry. That's what we use to track the position of the listener. And the inertia cube is a small cube that tracks the axis in which it is turned. And this is what we use to track the, the angle of the listener, to, to know which way it's looking. And, and ca uh, can you tell, uh, tell me again how this relates to the part over there? Well, basically, um, here you see a large sphere, and this is the beach. And when a listener is in this position, it will hear a beach. And the closer it is to the center of this, this large sphere, the, the louder the sound will be. And in, in the p software, we can define exactly how, it, how soft it will be, how hard it will be, but also the way it becomes soft, like the, the, the envelope. So basically, this beach is actually there, right? Yes, that's, yeah? that's correct. OK. Uh, and Boris, maybe you can explain us how, how this is version 2.0 and how it differs from 1.0. OK. Um, maybe I will start by explaining maybe very, s very quickly like what a, a spatial audio mixer is, because maybe some people don't, un don't know. Um, I think we can, um, you can compare it with if you play a video game and you walk through a virtual space and all of a sudden, for instance, you walk on a street and there are shops and you hear a butcher shop and you hear a cafe as you go along in the video game. And the placement of these sounds in this virtual 3D space is actually kind of spatial audio mixing. So you have um, sound sources that are placed in a 3D space. And this is exactly what SPASM does, but in a real-time manner. So you can, like with an audio mixer that you use to mix stereo or mono channels together, here the output is a three-dimensional space instead of, I mean, it's perceived in stereo, but you can have a kind of idea that a sound is somewhere in the space somewhere. And you can walk through the space. Um, in the first place, we focused in the 1.0 uh, version very much on the mixer itself. And we thought like, OK, um, this works now. But how can we break it open so that more people can start using it? And what we did basically, well, what Matthijs did especially, was uh, implemented in uh, Ableton Live. So uh, Ableton Live is a quite popular um, uh, audio program where you can uh, work with sounds where you uh, and samples, where you can work with MIDI also. And uh, it has now this feature is called Max for Live, which is Max MSP implemented in uh, Ableton Live. And what we did is basically translate this Max patch, which it was originally, into a Max for Live setting. So a lot more people that use Ableton can download this for free and just 
go and play at home with it. And, and what, what, why would people download that? Like, wh what kind of context do you, uh, do you see for, for this work? Um, several contra uh, contexts, actually. You could, for instance, simulate a, a multi-speaker setup. Let's say you want to make an installation with multiple speakers in the, in the, in the room, and uh, you want to know how that will sound then you can virtually build this multi-speaker setup and walk virtually through that setup. Um, we also um, had applications for virtual environments, virtual reality um, uh, applications, augmented reality applications where you as a uh, spectator walk around in a space and where sound sources are placed in a space. So there are several applications to it. Uh, I, know, I know it's actually a, a thing that should be experienced by one person, right? But we have multiple headphones here. So how are we, how we going to demonstrate this? Well, right now we're going to demonstrate it over the speaker system. One person will be walking there, and we can all hear what he's hearing. But of course, the effect is much more effective if you're hearing it yourself through a headphone and actually hear if you actually move. I mean, now we watch someone move and we hear the sound change. But it's, it's much different if you experience it yourself. But at least we can get an idea of how it works. Shall we pull a volunteer out and... Uh, I have a volunteer just, just for now at least. But okay. we first should clear this space. Um, everyone get out of this, this square so we can set it up. And then our volunteer suddenly <laughs> appears. <laughs> so the space is what? Uh, the space is the, the green lines, but let's, let's step back a little bit further just in case something doesn't work perfectly. Because, yeah, because you said that if any, anyone would step into the space, the whole demo would be ruined, right? Yeah, that's okay. true. <laughs> so please don't. We can already hear some sound. So, so what we have now is one person moving in the space and you uh, changing audio sources, right? Yeah, well, right now he's just walking, but I can also change audio as he's walking, as I can see where he is. For example, I can bug him with these two seagulls, let them follow him just manually at this point. So you can influence that live and even dynamic uh, mo movement like following listeners or moving away from listeners is possible now. Yes, he's hearing his approaches this and it becomes louder and also the way he turns his head determines from which ear he hears it. So I guess we should just all uh, try it out afterwards, right? Yeah, you're free to come try it out after the presentation, I suppose. Okay, thank you. No problem. <laughs> 